she was, you know, there to support me <clears throat> going through the aftermath in the, she called it the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> so she was saying that when she first met me, that, you know, the anointing was strong on my life. And she was said I was real heavy in preaching the word. And um, when we had um, stopped fellowshipping, because I was ministering to her about a lot of things. And she said, when it came to dealing with this situation, I'm trying to let y'all see me in the light. I'm trying. It's kind of hard, but. She was saying that it it um it kind of shook up my faith a little bit because she could tell that it was a distraction. It was something that came and distracted me from doing the things I needed to do. But once she said I got through <clears throat> that was few days of going through being ghosted, she said she could see that I'm coming back around. But yeah, I'm at this truck stop and I don't want to be here. And so just when I thought I was going <clears> to <throat> lay down and go to sleep, this truck came and blocked my truck in. Because normally when I park at a truck stop, I, um, I don't back in. I go straight in and I just back out in the morning. But I had to call the front desk to get them to get the guy to move his truck. <clears throat> so I turned the truck around. And now it's another truck here. It's making a bunch of noise. And I can't sleep. And the video that I did earlier, uh, it didn't um, save because my phone went dead. And now I don't even have the strength to do what I need to do. I, I'm just talking. I'm not comfortable where I'm at, y'all. I'm sleepy, but all these trucks is out here, and I'm irritated. Literally, just they noisy. I can't sleep. Y'all pray for me. Put thumbs up if you're going to be praying for me, because I need help. I can't sleep, and I have to get up and drive. I have about five more hours to drive to get to this <clears throat> to this um drop thank you so much because oh my gosh these trucks oh i'd be glad when this part of my life is over being in this truck it's a lot y'all oh we oh god <laughs> i can't even pray Oh, my goodness. I'm normally not on this. Y'all, oh, I need some prayer, y'all. I'm not liking this. I want to go sleep. Look, I'm just going to show you. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look. Just look at this. Look at this raggedy truck. This this raggedy truck is so noisy. These people be having, they trucks be so noisy. It's a number of trucks all down there. Oh, they irritate me. I don't normally, like I said, I, 99 percent of the time y'all i'm i'm not parked at a truck stop i'm normally parked at planet fitness or at walmart so it's only a handful of trucks Ooh, we y'all i'm not happy <laughs> i need prayer please pray for me i want to go to sleep i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you i'm probably not gonna get no sleep <laughs> Oh, my God, y'all pray for me. I'm so tired. These noisy trucks. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> oh, this is, not, this is not a feminine woman's job. Oh, my goodness. Being a truck driver is not a woman's job. <laughs> Oh, if y'all knew how I felt, I cannot wait till about, give me about one more week. I just need one more good week. <laughs> oh, God, help me, Jesus. <laughs>